morning, DBS. How are you guys doing? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, it's really wonderful. Um, you are aware that we in for, well, I guess you've been feeling the heat, but um, we've got to tap into the med service sometime during this week to get the, the, the full story, the full scope on, on, on what is happening with us as far as the climate and the heat strokes and all of this is concerned. I think Barbados is in for um, some really tough times, some really tough days ahead. So we're going to try to catch some scene on that for you in time to come. But first, let's see what's going on in the newsroom. Let's see what Kendall has got for us. A good morning. The curtains came down on the 2024 St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival at Pigeon Island on Sunday, May 12th. Mother's Day, an event organizers say the usual post-mortem will be done on the festival. However, they are already expressing satisfaction with the event, despite a few hiccups, of course. When we bring those international stars, main stage stars, to the, to the country, um, it's not exactly cheap. Um, and that's why the, the ticket prices reflect that in, on, on main stage. We don't have a high ticket prices or high ticket prices sake. It is to be able to pay for the event. So again, that also keeps away a lot of people from the island from attending the events as well. So when you are coming to events, the pricing levels are lower level, but they get a taste of the jazz. Um, they, they get the benefits of the jazz. The, the vendors, the communities all, all benefit from it. And then you, you more more. So you now work hard now to be able to afford to come to the main stage. Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Tiller says that high value is placed on the community jazz events this time around. A fixed fee structure for services rendered by Justices of the Peace and the issuance of special identification cards for JPs are just two components of new draft legislation to govern the sector. On Monday, the Ministry of Justice, the JP Committee and Directors of the Legal Aid met with JPs to address their concerns and to get feedback from the JPs on the draft legislation. I just want to let um, the citizens renew that this legislation will also benefit them. So God has, right now we want to implement ID cards for Justice of the Peace as well. So now going to Justice of the Peace, you can request that kind of identification so that you can know for sure that whoever you're dealing with is a, is a, um, a valid Justice of the Peace. Alcindor says that the hope is for the legislation to be put through the due diligence processes before enactment by year end, hopefully. However, he says there are still more rounds of consultation to be carried out by the ministry. Law enforcement news now on Friday, May 10th at 12.30 p.m. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force, RSLPF, recovered an illegal firearm and ammunition in La Quamengo, Marigo. In the process, they also apprehended four individuals. Officers attached to the Special Services Unit, or SSU, whilst conducting a traffic operation, stopped a motor vehicle occupied by four males. An inspection of the motor vehicle and its occupants led to the discovery and seizure of a one 9mm pistol equipped with one magazine and 11 rounds of ammunition. Consequently, the four individuals were arrested and subsequently charged for the offences of possession of firearm and possession of ammunition. The four are currently being held in police custody awaiting a bail hearing. The Ministry of Commerce, Manufacturing, Business Development, Cooperatives and Consumer Affairs has initiated two broad-based meetings between members of the Bakers Association of St. Lucia and the Commerce Minister Emma Hippolyt alongside technical officials from the Ministry. These meetings are expected to facilitate open discussions of the challenges and opportunities within the baking sector the formalization and operational standardization of bakeries benefiting from the government subsidy programs and the support that the ministry can provide to ensure the growth and stability of this very important sector. The baking sector or bakeries play a pivotal role uh, in terms of um, feeding our nation. We, we recognize that wheat products, bread, pastries, etc. are Telusia's main staple. Um, and the government has, over the years, made substantial efforts to um, protect that sector and to make the product more affordable to St. Lucia. Um, and I will allude to the subsidies that are currently offered and that increased over the past year. He says spiraling wheat prices due to international crises have caused the government to continue subsidizing flour. However, he says that the government is anticipating future disruptions. Therefore, he says bakers must be prepared for further external shocks. These are your top stories. Thanks for watching. Good morning. Thanks, Kendall. Let's take a break and come right back.
to the current school, we sat down with a few of the teachers um, from an organizing committee who is planning to celebrate Africa Day come the 24th of this month. Here at the current secondary school, I'm here with Jarlene, I'm here with Roxanne, Roxanne and Trisha. Uh, Jarlene Charles, you know, called us in because there's something exciting. Um, there's some members of, of the committee of the exciting stuff that we're about to find out about. I heard something about Africa Day? Yes. All right, let's break it down. What's um, going on? May 25th, worldwide, uh -huh. we recognize Africa Day. So um, on Friday, 24th of May, we would like to do our own celebrations here at the school. Okay. Oh, speak to the significance. Is that the first time something like that is going to be attempted at the school? Um, well, the have principal... Have done it before? Have at we? the school, no? Not really, not, not, really. On, not on the scale that we're doing it right now. We would not. Yeah, we want to expose the students to uh, uh, their ancestral heritage and culture. So we're looking at areas of music and dance and food and so on. So we could give them a feeling of what it was like, you know, what it is like in Africa. Perspective is important because you're part of the theatre arts. You are a theatre arts teacher. Correct. Right. That's right. And I see how excited, how really lit up your God. <laughs> I'm explaining that. Um, you, seem, you seem like this is something you, you definitely want to, want to channel um, um, into this. Yes, this definitely. What I, does it mean to you as a theatre arts um, teacher to be able to marry this, this, these two worlds? Okay, well, Right now, our students are exposed to so many other cultures. Mm -hmm. um, and as theatre arts teachers, we're our foundation for theatre, the history of theatre is in Africa for us. So I am so happy. I was so happy when Jalen came and said, let's do Africa Day. I was like, yes, let's do it, you know? And um, it's an opportunity to really bring Africa to the children, show them the culture that they can embrace and appreciate and be proud of. And I'm really excited to do that. Wonderful. Now, you're also part of the committee. What are some of the activities that you have on the cards uh, that we can experience on that day? Okay, so like Trisha said, we have dance, we have music. Um, one of the specific things that Jalin wanted is to give the children an experience of the national dishes of the different African countries. Mm. And I mean, so we're looking at your love rice and this kind of um, thing. <laughs> okay, and also um, herbal medicine. Okay, oh. and not just medicine in terms of herbs to drink, but you're looking at um, skin care, you're looking at both the inside and outside health package when you're looking at the herbal medicine part of it. We're also going to have modeling of African wear, where Trisha is going to give, um, has a contact with some beautiful dress wear and even though authentic. different wears, authentic material, African material, right. you know, both sides mm -hmm. of the fabric and of course the different ways of tying the hair which is something very ingrained in the African culture especially Wonderful. for women. That sounds great. Now Jalene, yes. that is all your master <laughs> minded. You're yes. standing there so quiet, um, you're sitting there so quietly. So I would like to you're sitting there so quietly. I would like um, to share why. Tell me why. So my primary school years were spent at the PI combined school. So we have the PI dancers mm -hmm. and I to this day I whenever I hear the drums or the dance comes back and having studied in Cuba alongside different persons from the different nations I could see I could make the connection so I would like our students to also see where for example identifying their features identifying the way they dance how they respond to music so I want it for them right have the, the kids you have been working along with them of course in, in order to put this together what, what is their response like? How excited are they? They are really excited because one of the things that we have planned is the Anansi story. And so there's a teacher, uh, Miss Lewis, I believe. She is basically working with the students and she's asked me to come on board to put some dramatization to it, which I'm really excited about. Right. And the children are really interested in learning about it and that's, that's a plus for us. Right. Let's talk about the dynamics of the children that are involved. Are they all theatre arts children, male involved, age group? Um, uh, is it spread across or? It's spread across the school. Across. Um, we have from the form one to the form four. So form five are doing CXC right mm -hmm. now, so they're not really involved. But from form one to form four, um, the different classes are putting on different acts on. Wonderful. Yeah. We we let's talk about the sustainability students. of this. We also yeah. have past students okay. that are getting involved. Are coming in, yes, to dance. Okay. Um, we have students who will be modeling the pieces. Right. The pieces well. Right. Let's talk about future-wise. You know, you, you hope to, to, for this to be an annual yes. and to grow, maybe. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's dependent on this year or, or not. 
whatever happens this year, we know it's going to be a success. Right. Corinth, once we put our mind to do something, the energy, the trend gets involved. It's something new and spicy. And once we're around and whoever is around, we hope to make we it an annual thing. Because it's always growing. You're always knowing yourself. The trend needs to be exposed. A one day is not enough. Absolutely. <laughs> now, let's talk about the actual day. Who can come? Is it only open to the students or can, can persons come? Well, we have to discuss this fine-tune some details okay. with the principal but um once we do that then we'll put the, the message out there that you know we can invite the public that's what we're hoping to have parents come in mm -hmm. and so on family members of our students to come in to see them on um, you know portray their talents and so on so hopefully yes it will be open to the public wonderful and in the meantime where can we can we follow what is happening do you have a on the school page maybe Maybe, yes. Okay. School pages. Wonderful. <laughs> Ladies, um, all the best with that production. And I, I think it's a beautiful and a noble way to go. Um, and I hope that you guys uh, we reap the success and I hope the children are going to see the benefit in all of yes. this. Yes. Thank, you Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you Here. That young man is on the hustle. I'm sure you've seen him from time to time. If you're anywhere around the Castries area, you would see him. If you're part of the musical scene as well, you probably would remember him from there. But I like the way he looks at life. We had a talk with Orion. This is my friend, you know, and I know you know him, Orion. Or Orion, where is the cookies? Um, <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> That's an inside <laughs> joke. He introduced <laughs> us to cookies once and then he just stopped. And I get, I get comfortable with the cookies and then boom, I can't find no more cookies. Orion, oh, yeah. what's going on now? Well, I'm doing good, you know, On the hustle right? as usual. As usual. Now, it's very important for us to tap into your energy because mm -hmm. we, uh, well, we met on, on the music front. That's, That's where we met each other. Um, is it still on? Are you still on the music, um, man? Well, let me tell you, COVID had put a little dent in the plan. Right. But now we're coming back. We have music out right now and we have more to come. Okay, so yes. good. So you don't plan to give up on the music at all? Not at all. Not at all. Certainly. At all. You don't plan not to give up on the, on the music at all? Not at all. You know, the fact that you're on your hustle and we see you so intent on it um, doesn't mean that you're giving up on the music. Not at all. Two money never fight, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Two money never fight. No, um, let me tell you, let me ask you now about, we, we, we're talking to you about the hustle today. Yeah, we're talking about the hustle today because mm. we see you from time to time through the town area. You got your smoothies, you got right. your, you know, you got your, your, your drinks, healthy drinks, local, juice, local right. juices and things. Tell me about that hustle, man. Tell me about what it's like as a, as a youth in the streets hustling on, on, on those vibe. Well, let me tell you it's not easy but at the same time it's, it's fun at the same time you know you get the hang of it over time um it's something i started off because you know i needed money but you know you grow into it you learn and you realize how far you could take it and what you could turn it into so you know three years of me doing it you just learn over time and realize where you could take it and that's why i'm at right now still learning to grow and still seeing where i could take it you understand what i get from? but for me it's something fun it's something i enjoy doing and you know i think a lot of people again don't want to do stuff like that because of pride or whatever it is. But right. Money, money to have pride in it, you know. That's right. Yeah. When you pull out that, that million, you don't say, exactly. you don't say what, what you did to get it. Exactly. That's really you. And exactly. you're doing honest stuff. Now, now, you, you, you go, we see you most of the time, action time, we, you're pushing through with, with right, the cart, the cooler, yes. with the cooler through town. But we, we station here now, is that, is that, a, is that an addition to the, to the process? Yes, so what that is right now, it's a collaboration with, as you can see, LA Burger Joint. Right. And we decided to come together, he's doing fast food. Mm -hmm. And I do drinks. Wow. So food and drink go together. So right. that's a, a no-brainer. And that's another youth. Yes. Who, well, he don't like the camera, but <laughs> that's another youth that another you linked up man, with. Yes, another young man who he actually came to me with the idea to, to do it. And I mean, it's a great idea, you know. Wow. So we gave it a shot. We started a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So now that you, you, you know, here you are now, expanding, you know, it, you know, collaborating with like minds, young persons like mm. yourself, doing positive stuff. Mm -hmm. What what do you what do you want to throw out there to other people? You just made the mention, you know, sometimes people stop short, you know, a lot of young people getting involved in a lot of unscrupulous things because they, you know, they don't want to do the honest thing, you know, because right. it's it, it's in, a, in their mind it, it takes too long to get a return exactly. or pride. Exactly. A lot a big part of it is pride. Yes, yes, now you're yes. a young man, you're in the business, you're in the industry, you're in the music mm -hmm. and, and you put that pride down and, and you, you hustle. Right. What would you want to say to young people outside there who is doing things of that sort? Well, you, you said it already. Put the pride down and hustle it. Because in this world, nothing is handed to you. you know. I grew up with no golden spoon in my mouth. You know, everything I had in my life is gone, get it. You understand? I know a lot of people today 
None of us are going to go to school in our mouth. So we have to put these things pride aside. You, you in school, take your education serious. You understand what I care Learn a trade, learn to do something with your hands. Because you never know where the life is going to take you. And for me, young man, I did my school. You know, I went to the, I ventured into the world of work, music and stuff like that. So, you know, I still am at myself, still growing myself as a person. But I have knowledge of certain things. And I just know it's a grind, it's a hustle all the time. It will never stop. The hustle will never stop until I, I die. <laughs> you know, so I like I this. So I certainly like this. So, do you have plans now to stick to that nonetheless, whether or not the music connects? We go, go in, wherever the life takes us, we continue to grow, we continue to learn along the way. Right. I never thought I'd be here today. Right, right. You know? So, you know, it's where the life takes us, you know, as long as it's like you said, nothing on us. You know, it's a way to further myself and further my business. I'm here for it, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, man. And a few young people should take that, take a page from other yeah, that. Yeah, man, because, uh, yeah, man. We want to introduce the public also to our Juju combo. What is that? <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> right. So, it's, it's a combination of a hot dog, a meatball, chili sauce, you know, and it's the Juju, the name came from Julian Alfred because we saw this post <gasps> online where they have the Golden Box at KFC. Yes, you know, so, I get right. so we decided why not celebrate our own. Our own. You understand? Uh. So that's what it is. So it comes in for hot dog, meatballs, and chili sauce. And it comes in for a drink as well. So you get oh. that delicious combo right here. And it's actually. available every day? Yes, yeah, Where about right you? Right well, you know you have to direct yeah, so me. So right now, so we next to Jean Credit Union right. on Jeremy Street. Ah, you can come and check us out here Monday. That's the Monday door bus stop. Right, Monday right. Bus stop. Okay, Monday, good. Monday door Carly bus stop. Yes. Right. So there Don't you go. Orion, right. you don't know. Don't know. Action time. Action time, bro. DBS, big up yourself. All the time. Thanks for having me. You don't know. <laughs>
Again, next exercise, like do a forward fit, pull him behind my back, different angle, one. Two, for as I'm on my toes for more pressure, so I'm hitting my calves at the same time, still hitting my back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ready, that's three back exercises. When you take your time and you complete your sets, that is three. We're going for the fourth one. We're going rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're checking. So that's four exercises. You can pull one arm row. So the way you can get it done, one leg up, and I'm crossing, sorry, my right leg, my left leg is up, and I'm pulling with my right. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. This exercise I stole out from my boy Blair in Clearwater, Florida, from Crunch Fitness. Big up to you. Got to represent Crunch. These guys have me when I'm in the States. Thank you again. So now that's already one, two, three, four, five exercises I've already showed you all. So we're switching it. Remember, I haven't been around the gym. I'm in the same location. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right? And last but not least, we have wide pull-ins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Simple. So imagine each exercise I did, I did there. I did one set in each. So I had to do three sets of eight in all of them. My back workout routine is done, complete. I don't need to walk around the gym. Don't need to go and look for COVID. I don't need to go and spread COVID, whether I have it or not. You stay in your space six feet and then you leave. So remember, help protect others when you go to the gym. Try to stay six feet apart. Try to ensure that you stay in one location and execute your exercise efficiently. And most probably, the Prime Minister will open up the country more and we will all be safe, St. Lucia. Remember, good morning. Hold on, good morning. Who's that? Incoming. Yep. Yes, sir. And that's what it is. Discipline. That's Mr. Sidel right there. All the way, wherever he is in Afghanistan. Where are you in Afghanistan? Yes, sir. I work out in a whole year. Hear that. Say, say, say that again. Yeah, work out in a whole year. I work out in a whole year. Wow, in a whole year. That's sad. But at least, at least you have the, the, the fit family in mind. That's good. We will talk. Anyway, St. Lucia, that's CDL doing big things, making music videos in the pandemic. In the pandemic. I see that. You see, I'm not accustomed to them virus and pandemic thing. So them words they go to be properly. But you know what it is? We just stay in fit and focus. Good morning. I was saying you are ending that man. You are paying me for that, huh? <laughs> Well, that brings us to a wrap on our features for this morning, our show for this morning, The Morning Show. Let's do it again tomorrow. But in the meantime, go on out and be absolutely great. You've got life. That's the most precious gift that one can have. When you wake up and you realize you've got that, make the most of it. See you guys tomorrow.